There it is. Okay, get it up and get it skipping. With the great fishing we've had in Southern California over the last couple of years, a new technique has kind of emerged. Basically, we're putting up a kite like a lot of the guys do on the East Coast, but we're skipping a flying fish behind it. It's a yummy flyer. That's what I want to look like. These things have proven deadly for the bigger grade of 100 to almost 300 pound bluefin tuna we've had in our waters over the last couple of years. The thing that I've found with this particular lure is simple is better. A lot of times you'll see this rigged with a single hook coming out of its back and a treble hook trailer. The treble hook's deadly, no question, but you're more inclined to get a bad hook set. So we prefer to run this hook straight out of the back of the lure. And what that does is it gets the hook point away from the wings, any chance of fouling, and the majority of the time, the tuna's coming up behind it, getting it and catching the hook. That's a good one. That's the one. The other thing that I like about this particular hook, and this is a Mustad 7691 in stainless steel, it's got a curb to it where you see the point kind of comes back towards the shank of the hook. That means it's not gonna just hook the first thing that it catches in the fish's mouth. The fish is gonna grab it and turn, and hopefully you're gonna catch them in the corner of the mouth, minimize chafing, and help you land the fish. Ever landed one with just two guys on the boat? Now the new lures that have come out this year have actually got a hole that goes from the body cavity coming out the tail. So I'm just gonna thread this hook through the body cavity. It'll find its way as long as you aren't forcing it. And it's gonna pop right out of the tail. I'm gonna use a 400 pound, about a five or six foot chunk of leader. Cut the line at an angle so it feeds through everything smooth. Just put a crimp on the line, piece of chafe guard. Not super necessary, but I've got it. Feed that through the hook, back through the crimp. Again, this is another little piece of insurance. It just makes me feel a little better. I'm gonna melt the end of this leader. I'm gonna kind of mushroom it out a bit with my lighter. And that's gonna make it less likely to wanna slip through the crimp, just in case my crimp slips. I'm gonna pull this whole thing tight. I'm gonna grab my crimpers. Now this is the important thing about crimping. Understand what size crimp you have. They're generally labeled by size. In this case, for heavier leader, we're using a 2.0 crimp and that's gonna go in the 2.0 jaws on your crimper. Very important. With these aluminum crimps, I like to go center out. I'll crimp it right in the middle, then I'm gonna slide it over to one side, and I feel like it pushes the aluminum crimp material out away from the line and kind of flares it. Once I've got that in there, I'm gonna pass the leader through the body of the lure. And with these little yummy flyers, they're already pre-drilled, so it'll kind of find its way through. Once you got the leader coming out of the nose, it's gonna loop up a little bit the way you're feeding it. Just make sure it doesn't hang up on anything. Once you got everything laid out real nice like this, I take a couple of tie straps and I wrap one behind the eye of the hook. And if you want to get fancy, you could sew this all up or whatever, but trust me, that tuna is not gonna take a second look at it when it's going by his face at 10 knots or nine knots, whatever. Now, the only thing you got left to do is put the sinker on the line. I rig these either with a two ounce egg sinker or a three ounce. Heavier the wind is gonna be that day, the more weight I like in front of the lure. This thing, in this case, it's a three ounce. Sometimes you're gonna have to take a drill bit, drill it out a little bit bigger for this heavy leader. So put my crimp on, put my chafe guard on, grab the crimpers. Again, make sure you're using the right slot in your crimp crimpers to match your crimp. There you go, you're gonna use a snap swivel, connect this guy to your main line, and you're pretty much ready to fish.